Hey, what's going on guys? This is Travis Lima here with another Paid Memberships Pro guided video. And today I want to show you how you can get Paid Memberships Pro translated in your very own language using GlotPress. Hey everyone, so in today's video, I want to show you how you can actually translate Paid Memberships Pro into your very own language using the WordPress GlotPress project. Now, what this is in a nutshell is this actually allows you to translate different themes, plugins, and WordPress into your own language in a really quick and easy way. Now, specifically, we're going to be working with Paid Memberships Pro today, but if you want, you can head over to translate.wordpress.org and here you can actually go ahead, choose your own language, and then also go and choose what specifically in WordPress, including themes and plugins that you want to translate. So if you want more information on this, head over to translate.wordpress.org and then you can even check out the translator handbook if you want. And this is where you can actually go and get all the information you may need to get started to contribute to WordPress. A really great initiative and seriously, this is something regardless of your technical knowledge that you can actually get into. So I would highly, highly recommend it. Now, the first thing that you will need to do in order to start translating Paid Memberships Pro is you would need to go to wordpress.org and actually sign up for an account. So it's free to do that. Head over there to wordpress.org and just get an account. And then you're going to want to head over to translate.wordpress.org forward slash projects forward slash WP dash plugins and then forward slash paid dash memberships dash pro. Then once you're there, you should end up on a page similar to this. And over here, you can actually see the different languages and how they are doing in terms of their translation. And I'm going to head over to the English South African translation and we're going to do a couple of strings over there. You should be redirected to a page similar to this where you can see the projects, the translated strings, how many are fuzzy, how many are untranslated and how many are waiting for translation. So let's go ahead and we're going to be working on the development trunk and all of these strings that are in green are the ones that have already been translated. Now, because we're working with the English South Africa translation, there really isn't much translation to be done. Sometimes you will have to change over a Z to an S with words like realize or capitalize or something like that. So let's just go ahead and translate this string here. So we have the original string that says could not find the subscription. So in order to translate this, we're just going to double click in the translation field below. And what we can do is you can actually go ahead and type this out if you want, or because it's in English, we can just copy from the original because this is going to stay the same as the original. Now, in a case where you are translating from uh, Norwegian or Spanish or Hungarian, whatever the case may be, this is where you'll actually fill in your translation. And once that's done, you're going to go ahead and hit add translation. And there we go. It has been saved and we have gotten the green light. Now with this, it's important to note that because I happen to be an editor for the South African English translation, this will just go ahead and actually approve automatically. So now you may have noticed that we have translated our string and usually what should happen if you are not a translation editor, you should see the string actually be highlighted in this yellow waiting color. And that will actually mean that there is editors around the world that will still need to actually approve to make sure that your string is correct. I happen to be a translating editor for English South Africa. So that's why it just went and it made it green automatically. And it's basically as simple as that, everyone. That's how you can contribute by translating your favorite plugins and themes into your own language. Now, let us just have a quick look at maybe a different language so you can just see exactly what it would look like. And it's not 
We're not translating from English to English. So if we go over here, let's look at the Spanish version of the plugin. And this is a great example. So over here on the left are your original strings in the American English. And these are the strings that actually still need to be translated into Spanish. The ones in green are the ones that have already been done. So for example, we have Stripe API version. And then over here is the Spanish. And what you can do over here, say for example, if we know what error is in Spanish, we can just double click. Then you just fill in the Spanish translation for error. You hit suggest new translation and that is about all you need to do. Then it will probably go in the waiting queue. It will either be marked as fuzzy or it will be approved and be current. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please go out and contribute to your favorite WordPress plugins and themes. It's very important and it's really easy and an effective way that you can contribute to WordPress.